as we've spent the last couple of weeks talking about spiritual practices, there is one more I wanted to briefly introduce you to, listening to music. But not just any music, worship music. Well, did you know that music has a way of connecting with our emotions? Research has shown that when we listen, that what we listen to can have a direct impact on our mood. This is because when we listen to music, when we create music or participate in music, it increases the blood flow and oxygen to the region of the brain that generates and controls our emotions. It has the potential to boost the good chemicals in our brain and bring us to a more regulated state. It calms our triggers. When we are experiencing a mental health trigger, it can be hard to move from the emotional part of our brain into the thinking or logical part. We know that when we are triggered, we have to pay attention to what we consume. If we consume depression when we are depressed, we have the potential to feel more depressed, not less. So why would engaging our emotional brain when we are already emotional be a good idea? Well, it's kind of like this. Have you ever felt sad and so you turned on sad music? What do you find there? You find emotional validation for the way that you are feeling. You start to believe the things that you hear through the lyrics because they get you. Or maybe when you're upset or angry or stressed out, you want to blast the rock or metal music as loud as you can. You want to exert the pent up energy you are feeling and this music gives you the ability to focus on that energy and express it in loud or passionate ways. You connect with the music because it gets you. It is said that there are seven emotions of music. Tenderness, happiness, sadness, anger, passion, depression, and anxiousness. We see echoes of these emotions scattered throughout the Psalms as David cries and sings out to the Lord. But what David does so well is that he turns these musical emotions back to God. In Ephesians 5.19, it says, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. Music can influence our moods. When we listen to worship music when we are triggered, we are filling our hearts and minds with hope. We still get the emotional validation that we need, but it doesn't stay there. It points us to where we get hope. Music has such a unique way of bringing your heart, your soul, mind, and strength together to focus entirely and completely on God. And music can speak truth into our hearts in a way that words struggle to find footing. So, this week, if you find yourself triggered, turn on some worship music and see if it helps. There will be a link below with some of my favorite worship songs to listen to when I'm struggling. They give me words that I can't find on my own and they reorient me back to the love and hope found in Jesus. And if there is a worship song that you love to listen to when you're struggling, text it into the church line at 360-552-7794. I would love to give it a listen. Have a great day, you guys, and I cannot wait to hear how music helped you this week. Bye.